Hello everyone, welcome to study ethic. In the previous video, we have seen how does a full wave rectifier operate. Now in this video, we will see how to calculate the average voltage, RMS voltage and form factor in full wave rectifier. The output wave form we have already seen is like this in the previous video. From 0 to pi, we get the output voltage. Pi to 2 pi, we also get the output voltage. So to calculate the average voltage, the formula will be V average equal to 1 by pi 0 to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t. The important point to note down here is that we have taken the period to be 0 to pi. You can take the period from 0 to 2 pi also that will give us the same result because the definition of the period is that the time difference between two consecutive same points. So if we start from here, we see at the pi point, we are having the same point, meaning if this one is positive zero crossing point, at the pi point also, we see there is a positive zero crossing point. So we can consider this to this is a period. You can take any point starting from this positive peak. If you proceed, you will find at this point, you will get again the positive peak. What does it mean? From this to this is the period. And if you do calculate, you will find that the difference is also pi. So for the sake of simplicity, we are taking this zero crossing points, zero to pi is the period. So if you do this calculation, you will find that the result is 2 Vm by pi. I have not shown the calculation here. The steps are very simple. If you have not watched the previous video where I have discussed the calculation of average voltage for half wave rectifier, you have to just follow the same steps. If you have not watched that video, kindly do watch that. You will find the steps to do that. Otherwise, you can do another thing also. Go to the description of this video. There you will find the link where I have uploaded the step by step calculation of this integration. Now we will calculate the RMS voltage. The mathematical expression of the RMS voltage is this one 1 by pi 0 to pi Vm square sin square omega t d omega t. I have missed the square here. Now if we simplify this expression, this will result in Vm by root 2. Again, the step by step calculation is similar to the RMS voltage calculation of half wave rectifier. Only the limits will be different. If you have not watched that video, kindly watch it. You will find the steps there or else go to the description. The link is given there for the step by step calculation. And we see that the average voltage in case of half wave rectifier, it was Vm by pi. Now we are getting 2 Vm by pi. There in the negative half cycle, we did not get any voltage. Now we are getting the voltage. So the average voltage is just double of the half wave rectifier. And the RMS value of the half wave rectifier, it was Vm by 2. Now the RMS voltage for full wave rectifier is Vm by root 2. And this is the difference between the average voltage and RMS voltage with respect to the half wave rectifier. Now we will see what is called the form factor. The definition of the form factor is RMS value by average value. You have to always remember this one. This is very, very important. What is form factor? The RMS value by the average value. By putting the value of V average, which is 2 Vm by pi, and the RMS value, which is Vm by root 2, we can put here. And following a simple calculation, we will find the form factor to be 1.11. In case of half wave rectifier, the form factor value was 1.57. Now the form factor for full wave rectifier is 1.11. The physical significance of this form factor is that the multimeters are designed to display the RMS value of the sinusoidal wave. But it is difficult to calculate digitally the RMS value. So what we do is that in meters, the average value is calculated and the result is multiplied by the known form factor. In this way, the RMS value of the sinusoidal quantities are displayed in the meters. So that is why from the practical point of view, the form factor is so important. In this video, we learned to calculate the average voltage, RMS voltage, and we got the concept of form factor. You have to remember all these formulas. In the next video, we will learn how to calculate the ripple factor. Anyway, if you are new to this video, let me tell you this is about us. Study ETEC is dedicated to all the electrical engineering students and our motto is to make it a complete platform and we need a little bit support from your side. Subscribe to our channel please and follow our Facebook page. 
and visit our website. Thank you and see you in the next video.